Come back for a call. We are set for the second period here in pool elimination. 66 kilograms. That's 145 and a half pounds. Jamil Kelly in the red singlet here is ahead. Or has no score. There is no score in this match. I'm ahead of myself. 0-0. We will have to go to a clinch after a scoreless first period. The athletes start the second period in a locked position. One of the wrestlers has to score within one minute. Over under lock. The first to lock will be Jermiel. And a referee, this is a lot like arm wrestling in that the athletes jockey for the most advantageous position possible before the whistle. Kelly takes the lock. He gets to choose the side of the lock. And they're looking at Bodit Stiano here. He's leaning over a little bit too hard. Referee warning him. Kelly trying to get into the lock. And this has been very typical here at the Olympic Games. Everybody wants to get the best position. They must get started. Both arms must be locked around the body. The referee is supposed to force the action. Eventually, the officials can caution. You can lose a point. Your opponent can get one. Right now, they're not happy. Matt Chairman at the side, you cannot see him, is a little concerned right now that this action is not being taken care of. And right now, there's a call. Now, Badustiano would not get into the clinch. And they go ahead and they caution him. And that is going to be a two-point penalty. Kelly can put him down on the mat, and he does. Well, it almost ma makes such a total difference in this match where you really didn't have any reaction, or wrestling action to decide anything, Jeff. Now, Bodistiano would not get into that clinch. He refused to make the lock. The referee gave him many opportunities to do so, thus the caution. And they haven't put any points on the scoreboard as of yet. There they come. Jamil Kelly of the United States will jump to a 2-0 lead because of that unwillingness for Badistiano of Moldova to get into the starting position. So a break for the American. Two minutes and 15 seconds here remaining in the second and final period in the 66-kilogram weight division. I don't know if that's so much a break as really Bodistiano making a huge mental error. Why give your opponent two points? He would not take that grip, would not take that lock, and he pays the price. Now Kelly, all, the, all Kelly has to do now is score a point, and this match can end in regulation. And one thing after talking to Jamil Kelly, he feels his big strength is he's tough to score on on the feet. And after talking to the coaches, they said they really want him to be patient in the style. Don't be too overly aggressive. And one of these wrestlers must have at least three points by the end of this match. When we get to the six-minute mark, or we would go into an overtime. Right now, Kelly had two to nothing. Shot there by Bodistiano, but no success with it. They're back on their feet. Minute and a half remaining in this second period. Jamil Kelly on this U.S. Olympic team with two of his Oklahoma State teammates who are also Olympians for the United States. A boost for him in the Olympic Games. A minute and 12 seconds remaining. Real slow s pace here in this match. Neither wrestler being overly aggressive at all. And now a passivity call. Kelly backing up. Not being aggressive. And Bodistiano will put him down on the mat and have an opportunity to turn Kelly. And this is a big sequence for Kelly for defense. Bodistiano needs to get some points on the board. Tied in that lock around the waist. Got wrench attempt right. Now Kelly has got tremendous balance. A little bit funky with his hips. He could step over Badistiano, and Badistiano breaks the lock. Now looking to hook the ankle, try to collapse Kelly's left hip, and Kelly does a good job of counter. Under one minute remaining, the uh, clock continues to run. Now they stop it. Daniel Kelly had two to nothing. He cannot win without scoring at least three points when we get to the six minute mark. So this match continues here. Pool elimination. Must advance out of your pool to continue wrestling. Totally blind draw. Sets up who will wrestle in all of these weight classes. The two best guys in the world could wrestle in the first round Olympics. Well, Kelly has been patient. Let's see now if he comes out of that patient mode and tries to get one good aggressive shot and score before the end of the period. Time to do it now. You don't want to try to rush it at the end of the period. And I think at this point now, you're going to see these athletes go to overtime. 
Well, 10 seconds remaining in regulation time, and nobody on the aggressive mode right now, so time is going to end here. And that will be it, end of the regulation time, and we will go into an overtime. Kelly has a 2-0 lead, but it's not decided yet. They're going to flip that disc, and we will once again go back to the clinch, Jeff. Kelly scored two points because of a caution against Podistiano in the first time they entered the clinch position. Podistiano would not lock. Kelly feels he's very strong in the lock. In fact, he feels that's something that he can score from. He's confident there. Now we have to go into this clinch. It has been set up to help decide things in wrestling matches. Not going to leave it up to the actions of the wrestlers. They're going to force this position in his double overhook lock. Somebody has to score at the end of one minute. Jamil Kelly can end it. But he scores. Batistiano will not bring his right arm up at all on the Kelly's back. Well, he, he already lost two points not willing to do this. This could cost him the entire match here in this first round at 66. Right, they're, in, they're in now. They're started. And Kelly with a quick slide by. It was that fast. And that will end it here. 145 and a half pounds. This is the first match in the, this weight class in this round. 66 kilograms for Jamil Kelly. So he starts out his Olympic debut with a victory. Beats Bodistianu of Moldavia. Three to nothing victory for Jamil Kelly in this match. Let's take a look at that move. Gets into the clinch, wastes no time, follows his underhook, that left arm under his opponent's right, scores. Jamil Kelly wins here at 145 and a half pounds. This is first round pool elimination wrestling in freestyle discipline here in the Olympic Games. 120 kilograms. That's 264 and a half pounds. Kerry McCoy, the 30 year old out of Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, assistant coach at Lehi, was second in the world championships last year and he will be taking on Yuri Moltsyov of Kazakhstan. He's 35 years of age, was born in Russia. He was fourth in the Olympic qualifier to get in here and he's gotten a hold of a tough draw here in the first round with Kerry McCoy of the United States. He's been on the world team four times for the United States. And there's his mother Gretchen looking on. He credits her with so much. When he made his second Olympic team, he was so emotional about being able to share that opportunity with his mother. He got done with the victory after clinching that second opportunity to go to the Olympics and immediately ran up in the stands to find his mother. He calls her his hero. She's everything. Without her, I wouldn't be where I am today. And of course, right now he's here in the Olympic Games, 120 kilograms, fighting for a chance to win a medal for the United States. Passive right now, but will shortly get very excited when her son wrestles again for probably the thousandth time in their careers. Kerry McCoy of the United States, a world silver medalist last year there, Jeff. Yes, and uh, that's his first breakthrough into the medals at the world level. He's been knocking out the door of the wild. He has climbed the ladder of success in the sport of wrestling. A New York State High School champ, two-time NCAA champ at Penn State, four-time World Cup champ, now a silver medalist in the world, looking to add an Olympic medal. And this is the heaviest weight division. In on a Lego uh, immediately here with the attack. A attempt for a counter. Lodinov looked like he tried to throw McCoy, but McCoy put him flat on his back. That could be a three-pointer from the standing position to exposure. See what happens here. Well, no points at this juncture. He has to there get around is. behind, free the leg up. Three officials on every mat. Two of the three must agree. Three points right now. Coach is saying he's tired already. Get on him. And interesting, it looked like Milzidzov was looking for some kind of a throw out of this. Wonder if that's his background in wrestling. More a thrower than he is a freestyler, but three nothing your score. McCoy with a nice counter, really wasn't threatened at all by that attack. And he put the back of 
Merduzov on, on the mat. That's why he scored the three points. Has an early quick lead. Enough points here to win the, win the match outright. Two three-minute periods. You must have at least three points for one of the wrestlers by the end of six. McCoy has already done that. Freestyle wrestling can attack upper body as well as the lower body attack. And you'll see a combination of all of those things in the wrestling here in the freestyle discipline. And referee stopping the action. Passivity call against Milzidzov. And McCoy will put him down, try to attack in the top position. And that passivity called three officials on the mat. When two have agreed that one of the wrestlers is less aggressive than the other, they call for a passivity, and the wrestler who is not called gets an opportunity to work here on top of Kerry McCoy is right now trying to put the man on bottom over onto his back, expose that back, get it beyond the 90 degrees. It's a, not an easy thing to do. Experienced wrestlers are very tough in this position on the bottom. And if anything, U.S. wrestlers have the toughest time transitioning from the college style to the international style in, concerning mat wrestling. That's where most of the work is done for U.S. athletes. Because we share takedowns in the American style, along with the international style known as freestyle, Americans are very good at takedowns. And as we said, this is Kerry McCoy's second Olympics. He was very disappointed in Sydney and didn't uh, hold back in expressing that. But he's always trying to do his best, always make sure that people understand he's worked very, very hard. Right now, assistant coach at Lehigh works with his athletes, his mother cheering for him, as she has done many, many times. Under a minute remaining here in the first period, McCoy out to that 3-0 lead. Milzioff backing up. Looks like he wants McCoy to try to take a shot. He's fairly upright in his stance as well. He almost looks like a Greco wrestler, Russ. Trying to force some action, but Milzioff backing away from the assault here of Kerry McCoy. McCoy very powerful. Recognized for his explosiveness throughout a match. A technician for an upper weight wrestler. He's a thinker, Russ. Very intelligent, develops a strategy, implements tactics, and then sticks with them. And nothing going on right here in this match as time is winding down. Perhaps both of them taking a little bit of a break. And the first period will end. Kerry McCoy of the United States scored early and enjoys a 3-0 lead. Uh, this is the second period at 120 kilograms. That 264 and a half pounds. Kerry McCoy of the United States walking out here in the red singlet enjoys a 3-0 lead right now over Yuri Milzioff of Kyrgyzstan. Scored his points very quickly in the first period. McCoy was a four-time world team member. Milzioff has been only fourth in the qualifier. Here's how McCoy scored that first point. And he shot a nice single leg. Milzioff tried to counter. McCoy put him straight back onto his back. That's a three-point maneuver from the standing position to back exposure. McCoy was fifth in the Olympics in Sydney. He's really been working to move up in the rankings amongst the great international wrestlers in the heavyweight division. Took fourth in 1998 and 2001 in the World Championships. So with that silver medal he had in 2003, he's got great credentials. And we're going to see here a takedown. Now it was a slip throw by McCoy. Milzioff locked up with McCoy. McCoy bailed with an attempted headlock, but I think he just wanted to get out of that tight situation. Again, a smart move by McCoy. Don't get into a situation you're not comfortable with. Stick to your bread and butter, and this is it. Leg shot by McCoy. He's got the single leg up in the air. Let's see how he'll finish to bring his opponent to the mat. Trips the far side. He'll crawl up the body. One point score there. And just under two minutes remaining in this second period of freestyle wrestling rules. Pretty much the same as women's freestyle and Greco-Roman, but you can attack the legs now. So we see a combination of upper body and lower body attacks in this style of wrestling. Much more wide open style freestyle. There's the nice trip that put Milzioff down on his hands and toes, and he collapses him to the mat. That scores a one-point takedown. McCoy back in the top position here, trying again to work another 
scoring situation by here working to clamp up the legs, but really not having much success. Great defense here by Moldyov of Kyrgyzstan. He's 35 years of age. He was born in Russia and really hasn't uh, acquired tremendous success in international wrestling, but he's qualified for the Olympic Games, and you have to be ready for anybody here. And McCoy says he's just going to focus on one match at a time, stay intense, and that is certainly what he's doing here. He's not taking any unnecessary risks. The job is to win and advance. McCoy has always been recognized for being in great shape and having great power even late in matches. And Mozeoff backing away here. He's the wrestler who's behind. Unless he can muster some sort of attack and get to four points, this match will end at the end of six minutes, just over a minute remaining in the period. And he's really not doing anything, Jeff. No, he's not. It seems as though he wants an upper, look at him, he wants an upper body tie. He doesn't want to do any leg shots of any kind. McCoy, too wise for that ploy. Milzioff did get into one tight lock. McCoy bailed right out of it with a slip throw. McCoy tactically very, very intelligent. And we've got three mats of wrestling action going on in this preliminary round, and you're hearing some cheers on an adjacent mat. 30 seconds here going down right now to the end of this second period in the first round, the pool elimination match in the heavyweight division. And there you see Milzioff saying, come on, lock with me. And why would you lock with an opponent that, you know, needs a big throw to get back into the match? And I think McCoy wants to hide some of his better stuff from other countries scouting this match. Well, time running down. McCoy being savvy here in the end of the match. He doesn't want to get into that upper uh, body position, attacking the leg slightly here. But that will be the end of the match. And Gretchen celebrates with her son. Terry McCoy, assistant coach now at Lehigh University at the college ranks, will win his first match in this, his second Olympic Games. A 4-0 victory here for Terry McCoy. Mom so important to him throughout his wrestling career. She'll be excited as long as he keeps on winning, emotionally feeling everything that goes on. This is the second win for Kerry McCoy in his pool, and let's look at how he Got here in this match. McCoy with a great draw. And if he continues to wrestle this way, he can do well here in the games. This is his first points of the match, a three-pointer against Milzioff. And he followed it up with that takedown, shutting out his opponent. So, Kerry McCoy, your winner. Let's go to Len. Well, you've pitched two straight shutouts now. Who are you, Nolan Ryan? I don't know, but I'm just trying to go out there and score more points than they do. The bracket has worked out for you where some of the tougher wrestlers are in the other bracket. Have you given any thoughts of that? I'm just taking one match at a time. I didn't even see the bracket. You know, I just asked my coaches who's my first match, want to finish with that, who's my next match. I knew I was in a four-man pool, so I know if I win my pool, I'm in the semis, but I have to take one match at a time. I can't worry about anyone else because if I start focusing on other people, I'm not going to get my job done. After finishing fifth in Sydney, has that served as extra motivation for you here? Well, 2000's over and behind me. You know, no one's ever going to be able to take that away from me. But it definitely helped having the experience and knowing what it takes to get to the top of the podium. Um, a big win last year in New York, taking the silver, just, you know, overtime match from the gold. So I'm really ready to come out here and keep, keep going on and do my best. All right, congratulations. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Hi, Mom. And here is his mom and her reaction. Darling, come on. And Kerry McCoy wins. He and his mom will both advance to another round here. Heavyweight division, 120 kilograms. Welcome back to Olympic Late Night. Free